the following podcast may contain explicit language and offensive material. And if that's your bag, keep listening. In our last episode of B.S. de Resistance, President Hillary learned that her former opponent, having escaped from prison, was now claiming he would somehow run against her a second time. But meanwhile, in Washington, her second in command is about to have his peace and tranquility abruptly interrupted. Okay, uh, let's see. That must be part of his ear. Yes, yes. Uh, so that means this one must go here. I knew it! I knew it! And, and uh, uh, oh, this one? Oh, this one's the knot in his tie! Yes! Hot diggity dog! Okay, Hubert, you are done. Ah, right. Okay, next up, Spiro Agnew. Heh, <laughs> Mr. Nolo Contendery himself. <laughs> so, to all the critics and haters who say I've accomplished nothing in my term, go pound sand, fellas. That's just stinking thinking. Why, I've completed puzzles of, uh, let's see, 38 of my predecessors. Uh, Who am I kidding? I'll probably be about as well-remembered as Hannibal Hamlin. No offense, Hannibal. Hey, John Nance Garner, you were right. This job isn't worth a bucket of warm piss. (laughs) Uh, To be back home in Richmond. Well, Wolf, this is a stunning bit of news. It seems that Donald Trump has re-entered the electoral fray, as unconventional as he has been from the beginning. (laughs) Unconventional. I suppose that's news talk for bat poop crazy. Although this time, he's had some help from the courts. Circuit Court Judge Brett Kavanaugh has issued a ruling overturning Mr. Trump's convictions for bribery, tax fraud, and human trafficking writing that Mr. Trump was, quote, simply too awesome to go to prison. (laughs) Is is that keg stand Kavanaugh? (laughs) Oh, those Yale boys were so wild. Oh, oh my goodness, I've spilt my milk on my cookies. Jeepers. We're bringing in our panel to discuss. Gloria Borger, David Axelrod, and Jeffrey Tubin. There's a lot to talk about. We'll start with Jeffrey Tubin. Uh-oh. Jeff? We're live. Hello? I don't think you can do that on TV. Gosh, Rooney. <laughs> I mean, we'll uh be right back. Jeff! Jesus! We talked about this. Do you remember the meeting? You've got to keep that under your desk. Oh, well, now today is exciting. I'd better tell the presidential peloton. The ladies are not going to like this. Oh, let me, uh, let me find my calendar. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, 25, 26, 27. Oh, dear Lord. When the peloton cycles together, it gets dangerous around here. Uh, L- L- Lydia? Lydia, are you out there? Of course I am. Where else would I be, Jesus Christ? You know, for a vice president, you ask some pretty stupid questions. Uh, Men, I am just so tired of all of this. It's just awful. Uh, oh, what? L- Lydia, Lydia, are, are, are you okay? What? Is it, um, is it, um, the cycle week? What? How dare... Oh, wait. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it is, actually. Sorry about that. Well, um, well let, me, let, let uh, me get you a muffin and some tea. Yes. I, I think Lisa left some muffins around here somewhere. It's a very uh, good idea, sir. Save yourself. <laughs> oh, no problem. Working with you ladies is just swell. Huh? I, I, I need to talk with Madam President. Is she available? It's, it's oh, urgent. Oh, honey, I'm pretty sure she's got the yellow shirt on today as well. But, uh, hey, <laughs> it's your life, you know. Uh, I'm going to have to risk it. Uh, do you have any chocolate? I- I'll slide it under the door before I go in. <laughs> you're just so nice. Oh, my God. Well, oh, you're so nice. <laughs> I could have stayed a senator, gone to the zoo, wrestled rabbits or something. Oh, well, it's for democracy, I guess. Where's my tea, short ass? Sure, why not? Democracy, yeah. 
Can't believe we made it to dry land. See <coughs> one. Jesus, I thought we were goners for sure. Uh, uh, oh no, I, I couldn't let that happen, sir. Not when we're so close to the dawn of the Trump Reich. <laughs> what an unspeakable tragedy that would have been for the Aryan race. Uh, yeah, right. And uh, and it was no thanks to your dumbass, Eric. Oh, Dad. I had to get out. I was a scared. Uh, it reminded me of the time Don Jr. put duct tape over my sunglasses. It was like the darkest day ever. Cry, baby. Uh, uh, but but hey, I'm sure glad Sad. I found these water wings. Water wings? What the? Jesus. Hey! That is my brassier! I do not what? appreciate it! Uh, what the fuck? It's it, it, it okay. Uh, you, you keep. You can keep. It's okay. Eh? We could all use change of clothes. I never want to see high heels again. Uh, my Fuhrer, I, I suggest we get out of sight pretty quickly. Remember, we're still wanted men. And women and others, other things. Uh, uh, the Deep State could be watching us. Oh, no. Where? Where? Yeah, good point, Stephen. I guess we've seen the last of your supercar. <laughs> what a lemon. Look at the Jared to pick silence with that piece of sh oh. shit. Is that them behind that palm tree? Calm down, you moron! Hey, what, what the fuck? How is this thing still working? Uh, hello? Uh, Rudy? Is that you? You bet your lucky ass it is, boss. And, oh boy! If I got some news for you! Hey, hey, what the hell happened to you back there? Did the Virgin Island cops snab you? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Uh, when the shit hit the fan, I ran inside and hid behind the bar. Then, uh, I guess I took a nap. When yeah, I woke up, sure everyone was gone. Hey, well, well, what happened to Jeffrey? Oh, they've got him locked up tighter than a nun's twat. Poor bastard. I, I wish him well. Uh, so, uh, hurry up already with the big news. <laughs> you gotta get out of sight. That's just it, boss. You don't gotta hide. You're a free man. How about them big apples? See what I did there, boss? No. Uh, what? what? Uh, are you are you sure, Rudy? Have I ever steered you wrong? Well, let me think. Okay, yeah. so it turns out, after you were convicted and lost your appeal... I, uh, well, I, I uh, must have filed another appeal. You, you must have? Don't you remember? Eh, well, there were a few months there that I, they were a little fuzzy. Anyway, it was a Hail Mary, and, and guess what? Some idiot judge actually bought it. Hmm? Can you believe it? Your convictions were thrown out. <sighs> You're free to return to Trump Tower. Hey, am I the best lawyer or what? Whoa. <laughs> That's, that's incredible. I mean, whoa. That was section two of plan. Find judge with, uh, weakness, glug glug, chug a lug ski. Ah, da, da, ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> so, anywho. Oh, oh wait, honey, I'll, I'll be right with you. Honey? Oh, what the fuck? Oh, oh, don't worry about that, boss. Uh, I've got, just got a... A valet here to make sure my shirt's tucked in properly. <laughs> you can't go running around untucked, you know. What? Ooh, Mr. Mayor. Oh, Jesus, Rudy. Our legal briefs on straight. Oh, we'll just have to see about that. That doesn't sound like a cousin, buddy. Uh, uh, gotta go, boss. Rock on. Over and out. Huh. Well, don't just stand there, everybody. Let's get back to Manhattan. Yeah. Yavor! Yeah, oh, uh, I do apologize, sir, uh, but uh, between the salt water and the sand, uh, I'm afraid my heel clicking is not up to its usual standards. Oh, yeah. Gotta work on that. Get something in there, in the, in, in the gears. Come on, like. let's move it. it? Yes, move it. Yes. Eric, I put that down. Put, don't put it in your mouth. Put, uh, Jesus, Eric. 
Oh, now he's choking. He's had crabs before. and I am not a happy booby. Hey, hello? Anybody? What? Steven? Steven? Oh. Oh, let's not forget the genius who once again almost killed us all. I mean, fine, leave me here. Good luck, fellas, who needs ya? I'm just gonna stay right here and tan my gears. The salt there should do me some good if any of you should care. I mean, really, I am getting too old for this. You know, 
Other than the stacks of toilet paper and the extra layer or six of dust, it doesn't look that different around here. <coughs> oh, okay, okay. Okay, you can do this. Just somebody at the door. You're not going to screw up the space-time continuum, whatever that is. Just, oh, okay, mask. Oh, God, how do they remember this shit? Hi, hi, can I help? Hey, your hair looks familiar. That's weird. Dearest Lisa, I had despaired of ever seeing those violet tresses again. Oh, how I've missed them. Whether you were laughing or hurling insults like Zeus with his thunderbolts, a carefree toss of your head would set those locks to dancing. It was truly mesmerizing. Oh. You Um. seem a bit dumbfounded, my dear. Uh Uh-huh. Oh, oh, heavens, of course, of course. The mask. (laughs) Worry not, Lisa. For I have been inoculated with a deep state corona vaccine. And I assure you, we are perfectly safe. Let let me let me take this off. Uh, Here, recognize me now. Holy crap. You're you're Rick Perry. Wow. You know, your hair is so pretty. You know, you look taller on TV. I mean, like, almost like your normal height, but but you're not. Ha <laughs> ha Lisa, Lisa. So Always small. ready with an amusing jape. Look at it. <laughs> now, uh, now, I have something important to be telling you that... Okay. Hey, Dreamy Rick! Oh. <laughs> Tra- Come on Dreamy in! Dreamy Rick? Hey, where have you been? What the fuck's going we on here? You. Oh, Master Jake. Oh, you know you. My, 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 how you have grown, young lad. Why, soon you'll be taller than that strapping velociraptor of yours. <laughs> wow! Did you hear that, Mommy? I'm tall. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I heard, I heard, velo- velociraptor? <laughs> yes. Yes, Smiley! What's wrong with you, Mike? Oh! Oh! Oh, he must have smelled you. Hey, Smiley! <laughs> Guess who came to visit you? Your favorite! Oh, my gosh. That sounds like it's even bigger than Thunder. Ah, he's okay. <laughs> Why isn't everybody <laughs> running and screaming and pulling at their hair? Ah, uh-huh. fear not, my dear. You know. I came prepared. Once an Eagle Scout. Oh, another Eagle Whoa. Scout. Whoa! Whoa, Uncle Rick, that's his favorite kind of bone. Oh. Okay, here we go. <sighs> okay, so, Rick, you came to see me, which is something I'm used to because you do this all the time. And you know Jake, right? Of course, because I'm, I'm used to that too. <laughs> it's just. What's wrong with you, yes. Mommy? Well, Lisa. <laughs> I never could stand up to your withering sarcasm. Uh, yes, my dear, I humbly Can admit I've been an absolute cad. You have. If I hadn't arrived masked at your door, you surely would have sent me away like some hapless vacuum cleaner salesman or Jehovah's Witness. Well, or yeah, something. I mean, but only because you're Republican, nothing else. Oh, your hair is so wow. pretty. Yes, in my, well, in my uh-huh. deluded, unenhanced state. I most regrettably was, but once my vision and my mental acuity were drastically enhanced by these little marvels, I saw the error of my ways. But of course, you know all of this. Yeah. (laughs) Of course. Yes, of course I do. (laughs) I do. I most certainly do. I know that you have smart glasses. And I have a pet dinosaur. (laughs) Well, holy shit, no wonder she wanted to trade. Jesus Christ. And then, of course, well, thanks to that buffoon in the White House. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sexist much? Watch it, sir. Oh, I'm sorry. The buffoon. I mean, my bad. Never mind. Lisa, Uh Uh might I suggest a short nap? You might. perhaps a cup of tea? A short nap? You mean in my bed? Because that's... Well, I mean... (laughs) But forgive my impertinence, dear, I'm but... I'm trying. You you do seem somewhat disoriented at this moment. I, I, yes. Anyway, I was merely saying that Trump burned out my previous pair of smart glasses. Okay. And it wasn't until last month that dearest Ruth, uh, may she rest in power, presented me with a new pair. Oh, sweet. In the meantime, That's what this I had is. been wandering okay. in the wilderness of ignorance and tequila... It, it pains me to even think about it. I... Okay, well, look, don't beat yourself up. All right, let's just let bygones be bygones. Mm. Like, um, 
like they never even happened. I will... I, I am erasing all memory of them right now. Ta-da! I have no idea what happened in the past. And let's keep it that way. Oh, there. So, what brings you to Galveston? Are you staying long? Um, we have an Airbnb you could use. There's no cable right oh, now. But are we going on another mission? Mission? Huh? Oh, please! Can we please, 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 please? <laughs> please! <laughs> oh, um, Master Jake! <laughs> My lad, I'm afraid you are no longer in the devil-may-care milieu of kindergarten. Oh, That's right. You monkey. must attend to your studies. Now that you're a responsible second grader, mm -hmm. you must set an example for your younger brethren. Wait, what, brethren? No, oh, but I can fly even faster than I used to, and my heat ray is... Is not allowed to be used in the oh, house. Oh. No. Hey, I know Come you. On. Ah, uh, yes... You must be Jay. Lisa has spoken of you. Well, hardly at all, to be honest. Oh, yeah? Well, the only reason I agreed to even appear on this stupid show is I had an understanding that you were gone. Don't you have some uh, foreign oil bribes to collect or something? Boys. Uh, I, <laughs> Boys. Sir, I... Boys. <laughs> understanding is something you quite obviously have trouble with. I want to no. go on a mission! Mission! If mission, you weren't also mission, an Eagle Scout, mission. why I... What? What would you do, sir? Tie me into a timber hitch knot? Pshaw! Oh, boys, stop! Look, Mommy needs to go to party. But, but... D -d 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 Told you so. Uh, <laughs> d -d 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 keep it together, keep it together. This is very weird. <sighs> okay, just breathe, okay? Hmm, I know, I know. Okay, I'll... Oh, crap. Other me said I was out of weed in this dimension. That sucks. I am screwed. Don't do it. Ah! Can you not, like, give me a heads up or something, please? Of course. Should I say, excuse me, but I'm about to start speaking? Ugh. Or would the act of speaking that disturb you just as much? Perhaps I could send you a telegram or a DM on Twitter. Oh, that's very funny. Okay, wait, oh, I'm sorry, the telegram gag, that was a little bit funny. You're learning, and that's good. Don't do what? What are you bossy pantsing? You can trust Secretary Perry. He is a loyal member of the Resistance. Okay. But I recommend you do not trust him with your heart. <gasps> what? Don't be silly. I would never. I am a happily married woman. My husband is your awesome. Your heart rate was just at 122 beats per minute. And your body temperature... Nosy? To Nosy? Look, just because he's somehow incredibly smart, and he has a silver tongue, and his hair, have you seen his that. hair? Uh, and I could put him in my purse because he's so wee, he's like a pocket pal. Oh, shit. Affirmative. Mm. Oh, shit, indeed. Nah, nah, nah. I predict a 97.3333% probability that an affair would result in disaster and heartbreak. Oof. Okay, well, who said anything about an affair? I mean, I was just thinking maybe get him out of those boots, a little relaxation time with some tequila. That is not the same thing. Isn't it? No. Isn't it? No. Girl, you in danger. Oh, please. He's right, dear. Ah, God, Ruth, you need to warn me, too. You cannot sneak up on me from other dimensions. Oh, please. Now, as I was saying, what? these things can take on a life of their own. No. Just like with me and that naughty prince. Oh. <sighs> I don't want to hear those stories. I thought it would be a harmless fling, but before I knew it, we were out on the dance floor having a great time wearing a raspberry beret, and, well, I shan't go on, but, you know, dear, it's hard with Prince. Very hard. I know. I'm with you. No, no, I got it. I agree. I understand. Mommy! Yes, dear? Are you your dreamy Rick bathroom time? Look, I'm just in the bathroom. No. Your electric toothbrush. Ha <laughs> ha monkey, so funny. I'll be out in just a minute. Okay, look, um, <laughs> I hear both of you, all right? Just keep an eye on me in case I slip up or whatever, you know, and I start to lose control. But you don't get to be all smug and bossy pants about it. Mm, oh, sorry. Oh, Jesus. Smugness is beneath me. Far, far beneath me. Fuck off, you
you overgrown answering machine. What the fuck? Manners, dear. Machines are people, too. Okay. Oh, sorry. Apology not accepted. What the fuck? I'm trying to be nice here. That's what you You're the sassiest dildo I've ever encountered. Will Lisa be able to keep a lid on her libido? And what other surprises do the Russians have in store to sabotage President Clinton's campaign? We'll find out after this message. Hey, this is Lisa. Hey, it's Dale. How are you? I'm excellent. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm you editing, having fun? editing the episode that people have already heard at least half of, uh, which, you know, again, it's that weird time travel thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> No, we're great, you guys, except for the fact that it's the apocalypse and the end of the world is upon us on November 3rd, or, or the reset we've been looking for. Yeah, no drastic fairy knows? action needed, uh, you know, we, yes, can, do, we, we can be the fairies, or whatever. Fingers crossed, uh, <laughs> yeah. toes crossed, eyes crossed, everything crossed. Yes. Um, so, and we've made a really long episode because, like we told you, we're trying to knock this crap out before the end of the election and then go from there. Yep. You know, straight to the camps or on to <laughs> new and exciting projects. One doesn't know. Tomato, tomato. Yes. You know, being forced to, to do this from, you know, like a, a shortwave uh, station in the jungle or whatever, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Dale said, keep it short. I can't stop talking. Did okay. you know that I said yes. something to a, my British client? And I said, oh, well, tomato, tomato. And then I realized that for them it was tomato, tomato. And it probably <laughs> didn't have the same point that I thought it would have. Yeah, you know, a lot. <laughs> two, two countries divided Why by a common language. Why is she saying language. tomato, tomato? I don't know. What was she saying? <laughs> She's very silly, that American. Very silly. Deep, we like her. Very deep. silly. Uh, her brain has been softened by four years of Trump. Uh, yes, and seven years of child. Yeah, seven years of child. That, that's the other fact. That, that's sort of like the, the tenderizer, and then Trump was the meat hammer. Just bow, 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 bow. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is presidential. That's presidential, right? It's normal. It's totally normal. <laughs> what, do you think it's not normal? What's wrong with you? There's something We're wrong with you. Gaslighting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Anywho, Hopefully. so we're keeping it short yes. so as not to overwhelm your poor, tired brains. Yes. Um, just stick with us. I think, was there something you wanted to play, like the outtakes, or do we, we don't even know no, no, that. No, no, we'll no. play that later. Bad. No, nothing? So Bad. just. No, nothing. Just, okay. Yep. Yeah, so uh, from us, zip it. Y'all have fun. Keep yeah. Off. Vote blue. Stay safe. Yeah. Let's get back to the show. God help us all. <laughs> Or goddess, or really anybody. Yeah. Like Zeus is cool. Thunderbolt. Yeah. Yeah. Thunderbolt and lightning. Uh, holy crap. Look at this place. It's a disaster. Total disaster. Where's all my golden furniture? Well, sir, uh, after your conviction, the IRS came in and carted off anything that wasn't nailed down. Oh, shit. Oh, not my golden toilet, too. Oh, no. Uh, I wrote some of my best tweets on that thing. Hmm. Eh, it reminds me of my parents' flat back in Moscow. We shared with four other families. Well, uh, at least power is back on. I will recharge phone. Yes, uh, <laughs> I must recharge my own batteries, too. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, perfect. I should be able to hang upside down in this closet. <laughs> Sorry, sir, I'm going to be... <laughs> indisposed for a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, whatever, Stephen. Uh, now, uh, hey, we need to get a TV in here. ASAP. Ah! Right on time. President Putin will have you back in business in no time flat. Huh? Right this way, gentlemen. <clears throat> hey, hey, where do you want this lazy boy, Mac? Right over here. Look, he's like Emperor's throne. Whoa, check it out. It's got a golden handle to make it recline. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, and, uh... Here's the TV. Boy, I didn't know they made them this big. That's what she said. Oh, oh man. 
I'm in heaven. <laughs> is, uh, is good, da? Huh? <laughs> and it also be coming with this. Ta-da! Holy shit! A golden remote. Uh, this is... This is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Uh, uh, tell Vlad, thanks. Oh, can't wait to push the buttons. Push, push, push. We will pow, convey pow, pow, your pow, appreciation pow. to His Excellency. Okay, that's it. Well, enjoy. Can you believe this cheap skin asshole? What the fuck, man? Stiffen me. Come on. Look at this place. He can't come over. Just like it. Just like it. Yeah, all stiffed 50 all his contract. What? What's wrong with this son of uh, a bitch? I mean, my God. Great. Uh, now, quick. Hook it up. Uh, I can't wait to see what Sean and Tucker have to say about me. Ah, <laughs> uh, at once. Oh, uh, what the? Uh, not this loser. Uh, uh, hi, Mikey. What's up? Oh, oh. Thank the Lord. Sir, it's so good to hear your voice. How does it feel to be a free man at last? Terrific, of course, but... Uh... Oh, that's wonderful, sir. Just wonderful. Now, uh, of course, while I'm proud of the small part I played in freeing you from the... Uh -huh. the, the... What? 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 What are you talking about? Well, you know, sir. Marlon. Who? Uh, Marlon Bundo. You remember his little, uh, dance routine? Distracted everybody at the prison? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, so... All right, <laughs> right. I forgot about your fucking bunny rabbit. Uh, excuse my French. So, uh, thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, don't, don't, don't mention it, sir. Uh, I mean that. Uh, sir, I would appreciate it if you didn't say anything about it publicly. So, um, uh, when... When do we hit the campaign trail again? <laughs> Mother and I, we, wow, golly, we can't wait to get oh, to the people. Oh, yeah. And... Um, about that, uh, well, uh, sorry to tell you this, Mikey, but uh, you're not on the ticket this time. What? After all I've, I've done for you? I, uh, y yes, Mother, I'll try. I, I, so, uh, uh, who, who did you pick? Chris Christie? Alex Jones, or...? Uh, nope. You know me, Mikey. I like to keep it in the family. Ivanka's gonna be my veep. <laughs> It'll be so cool to have her serving under me in the White House. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. Ah, uh, well... Uh, oh, um, yeah. well, far be it oh, from yeah. me to question your judgment, sir, but I... I, I must say I'm, I'm shocked, sir. I... Ah! Mikey! What the fuck? Are you okay? Cell phone battery must have shorted out. Uh, 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 look, uh, sir, before before you make any rash decisions, please, I'd like you to. Just yeah, think. yeah, gotta go. See ya. Uh, but, but, sir, I. I... <laughs> that fit as well as could be expected. Yeah, but you know what? It's a huge relief. I never wanted him the last time, but, you know, Paul insisted I had to throw a bone to the Jesus freaks. Can you believe that bullshit? Oh, yeah. Well, that... Ooh, ooh. Speaking who, of tongues who is, and who is this like Paul? That. He's speaking uh, of this. He is referring to Jesus Comrade weak, Manafort. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah, yeah, but you know, I never really trusted him. And, and another thing, huh, every time I called him, I could tell he was watching that same TV show. And he said it was a gladiator movie. <laughs> right, whatever. Good riddance. And now we've got to see how we can get these other clowns to drop out. Hmm. Huh. I don't know how we can do Not that. to be worrying, Donald Frederikovich is already done. What? But how? Observe. In just the latest stunning development, in a week full of them, all four Republican presidential candidates, Janine Pirro, Louis Gohmert, Rick Perry, and Roy Moore, announced that they were withdrawing from the race. They released their delegates and threw their support behind... Donald Trump? Are you guys sure this isn't a prank? Here's former Texas Governor Rick Perry. <laughs> Doggy! <laughs> uh, you know, uh, I can't believe I plum forgot that it was almost Rio Grande turkey hunting season. <laughs> Oops. I sure wouldn't want to miss that. No, sirree. 
Holy shit! How the fuck did that happen? Oh, you know, they perhaps were uh, wanting to spend more time with the uh, family. Or they were perhaps informed that uh, certain past actions were about to see light of day. <laughs> da, da. And now, they have seen light. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get it, I get it. Here, yeah. oh boy. I knew you guys were good, but I didn't know you were that fucking good. <laughs> Crooked Hillary must be shitting her drawers right now. Is <laughs> 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 oh, 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 Meanwhile, the other Lisa, having adapted to the timeline where Hillary is president, has sprung into... Wait, what? Uh, sorry, the director is waving frantically at me. Uh, she's... She's still at the spa? Oh, Jesus. We're doomed. <laughs> To. Da, your husband called 273 times. 274 times. Go home. Fine. God, I'll go. Jeez. Brain claws. Here are claws. Da, she goes. Finally. She gave me creeps kiss. Me too. Always moaning, crying, and sniffling. Snowflake. Is worst undercover job ever. Da, two weeks rubbing, same woman with hot rocks. Why? Is stupid. H Hello, I'm right here. Go. Go. Okay, okay. I'm leaving. Jeez, it's only been two weeks. Look, I've had a rough apocalypse. Cut me some slack, all right? What apocalypse? Well, you see, here's what happened. Never mind. No questions, no answers, no more talking. Go home. Fine. Right. I'm gone. Jeez. Thanks for everything. You ladies are hot rock masters. Grumpy, selfish hot rock masters, but you know, whatever. I don't think I can handle this sweet woman-led timeline, and it is a lovely day for a walk, too. Ah, it's nice. Almost home. And look at this! Ladyland timeline me has a lawn boy! What? Sweet! Nice shoulders. Hey, honey. You decided to leave the spa? Ah! Oh, it's you! I didn't recognize you. That's... That's... weird. Yeah, but, I know. Uh, okay, you ready to join society? I think so. I think so. I'm going to make some tea. Maybe stare at my belly button for a while. Contemplate my place in the world. You know. a girl. Thanks. Nice work on the lawn. Thank you. Hello, dear. Welcome home. <laughs> dear, you look like you've seen a ghost. Oh, <laughs> that was a joke, dear. I'm dead in your timeline. Not this one. Close your mouth, dear. We are not a bubble-eyed goldfish, however much we may resemble one. No, no. I mean, yes, Auntie No-No. You're alive? I'm alive here, yes. Well, why? I mean, how? It's good, but... Oh, my! Hi, Mommy! Hi, you're home! Auntie Nono and I have been playing. Of course. Did you know that she cheats at poker? Ooh. And she taught me how to? Oh, smart. Hey, where have you been? Are you better now? Do you want to play Minecraft? Oh, I'm thirsty. Oh, 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 guess what? Okay, guess what? Um, Auntie Nono, and she ate the last <sighs> chocolate chip cookie, and I told her not to, and she told me it's justice, and you know, I just don't think that's right, Mommy. 
Come here, monkey. Come here. I have missed you, monkey. I've missed you too, mommy. You want to play Minecraft? I know. I'm home now, baby. I know I don't want to play Minecraft. I really don't. Uh, actually, no. Lisa. Uh, 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 uh. Minecraft, nope. Minecraft, Nobody, Minecraft. nope, nope, nope. And nope, nope. Lisa. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, dear, but you've got to go to the district for a bit. Things have changed while you were stoned. What? <laughs> it was another joke. The hot stone massages? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not used to you being funny. I'll recalibrate. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Auntie, no, that's funny. It's okay, dear, but you still have to go to D.C. It appears that Donald Trump is staging a comeback. Oh, shit. You seriously do not want that in your timeline. You can trust me on this one. I have done four years of this, and you do not want it. Exactly, Lisa. Your bags are packed. Okay. Okay. Ooh, weed's whacked and my wife is home from the spa. It's a good day. Actually. Ugh, I hate it when you actually me no no. I'm sorry, babe. They called me to Washington. I'm sorry. Again? Yes, I know, but hopefully it won't be long. It's for our country or something. Monkey and I will be fine. Hey, Monkey, looks like nachos for breakfast again. Yay! Hey, Dada, can we have cake for dinner? No. Yeah, sure. Yay! Your car is outside. Oh, thank you. Bye, Bye, Bye guys. We're going to miss you. I'll miss you, Bye. too. Hey, Katie, a feed him a vegetable. I, uh, one. Pickles one, don't th count. Why? That is a cucumber. Bring me back some sugar. Well, but, uh, mm. <laughs> Hmm. Yes? Hey, Lilith, just, uh, checking in, you know, see what's what, what's wandering around, you know, the weather, how's the gambling, you know, no pressure mm -hmm. or anything. You know, just What's the to... matter, boss? You don't trust me? Wait, I'm the devil. I don't trust anybody. Uh, what do you need, boss? Well, uh... Well, I just want to know, if, did you take care of my little problem? Not yet, big guy. Uh, Seems our little fairy friend fried her floofy little head. She's been locked up in a rehab joint for the last two weeks. I'm headed that way today. <laughs> Sparkle butts in rehab? You're kidding me. <laughs> I actually feel sorry for the staff. <laughs> yeah. Word is, she's been a bit, uh, uh, let's say, problematic. <laughs> problematic. <laughs> Are you finished? I'm glad you're amused, big guy. But I'm the one who has to break into a pastel pink prescription-free palace because you don't know how to dump somebody. Hey, hey, hey. I know how to dump somebody. Mm-hmm. I do. Yeah. This one's just, uh... Problematic. Yeah. You just cool that red-hot poker, boss devil. I'm pulling up outside the joint right now. <laughs> oh, make her squeal. <laughs> I'm on it. Okay. Uh, oh, pink. So much pink. May I help you? Ugh. Yeah. It's a very pink place you've got here. It's soothing. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I need to chat with one of your crazies. Oh, excuse me. Our guests are perfectly sane, just overwhelmed by life's burdens. <laughs> right. <laughs> so the particular junkie I'm looking for is about 5'2", poofy hair, dresses like a drunken circus clown. 
Oh, what else can we say? <clears throat> Guests, not junkies. And I'm not permitted to reveal any information about them. She waves a stick around. That bitch. Oh, yeah. You know her? I do. She's in the time out box again. She is very, very overwhelmed by life's burdens. Yeah, she's a little high strung. Yes. Take the left hand door, walk all the way down to the end of the hall. You'll know when you're there. The singing. Oh dear. The singing. Oh, thanks, doll. You've been so helpful. I probably won't eat you later. What? Uh, namaste, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Nah. I definitely will. I'm a demon. That's what we do. You know? Goodness. Well, what if I told you? Mm-hmm. What if I tell you not to kill me? Hmm? Oh, that wouldn't work. Hmm? I don't listen to authority well. And... Oh, 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 oh I have your word. <gasps> you don't! Authority forgot to lock it no! up. No! So, I guess you still lose there, sweet cheeks. I don't like losing. I don't like losing! Who does? Oh, are you still going to kill me? Unless you have a better idea. Of course I do! Um, I, I do, I do, I do! Uh, wait a second, let me think. What do I do? What do I do? Ah! <sighs> but what if I told you that taking me out would end this timeline? So? <laughs> well, this timeline is run by women! Oh, yes, ma'am. Chicks are in charge, bitch! All of them. Really? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. We got lady bosses. We got lady president. We got lady love. We got ladies, ladies, ladies everywhere. Hmm. Did you know that in this timeline, I do 70% of the good deeding for 100% of the credit? What? It's the best. No way. Oh. And when I walk by construction workers, I get to yell, Nice Turkish boys! <laughs> Ooh, I'm listening. Oh, Tell me more. It's pretty awesome. That's how I got, you know, carried away and wound up in here. Let me get this straight, Twinkle Toes. In this timeline, we're the bosses? Oh, yeah. Having a penis doesn't automatically put a dick in charge? Uh-oh. You're telling me that I can do whatever I want whatever here. Whatever you mm -hmm. want. And if you and I were to work together, we could make it permanent. We could be the bosses forever. <sighs> Ladybug, I like the way you think. Ooh. And I think it's about time the devil got his due. <laughs> Let's show him what us bitches can do. <laughs> Let's do it. Stability? <laughs> Evil. Tranquility? Revenge. Tolerance? Uh -uh. 
payback. Come up, bitch! Ah, my friend. Long ago, when I started, Mr. D ruled quite supreme. I'll admit that I was taken with his evilness. He was a dream. But after years of being ignored, I'd had enough. More as a succubus, I had no equal, so I devised to even the score. Well, no one hit him, well, no one hit him when we're together, we're so strong. And when we hit him, and how we'll hit him, can regret he could be so wrong. Civility. Until I met Miss Daphne's devilishly handsome and rather corny, had me begging, pretty please. But then he left me. I started drinking, trying hard to just forget. And then I met you. I feel empowered to teach a lesson he won't. Exactly how our little coven will right the wrongs. It can be undone because our sisters, we know better than trust a man to get it done. We'll stick together in words much better with women's power. The war is won. Well, no one hit him. Well, no one hit him when we're together. Will the Schemin' Demon and the Light-Headed Lush put one over on the King of the Underworld? Hey! Who you calling a Lush, Lush? You watch it, you! You are so rude! I should send you to your bedroom without any supper! Uh-huh. Ow! Ow! Uh, uh, I knew it was a bad idea to give her back that wand. <laughs> Hit him again! Uh, you like fire, Scarecrow? Uh, <laughs> I gave up smoking years ago, thanks. Uh, <clears throat> and how will each Lisa fare in the other's timeline? And could this possibly be the end of the morally gangrenous gas bag in not one but two elections? Oh, man, fingers crossed, rabbit's foot rubbed. Uh, excuse me, uh, pardon me. Yes, what? Uh, oh, wh- whose rabbit foot is that? Never mind. Oh. Oh, by the way, your fly's open. Uh, my fly? Uh, oh my goodness. Ah! Major look. Oh, how I've missed that sweet sound. <clears throat> uh, we'll find out the answer to these and other questions on the next exciting episode of B.S. de Resistance. This episode of B.S. de Resistance, Shirt Tuck Everlasting, was written by Lori Firth, Lisa Graham, and Dale Leopold, and featured the vocal talents of the Suffolk and Good Players, Dustin Ebaugh, Lori Firth, Lisa Graham, Dale Leopold, Nancy McLemore, Chris Mezzalesta, Karen O'Brien, George Washington III, and special guest Rebecca Davis. Original music composed and performed by Chris Mezzalesta. The songs, What Do They Want From Me? and 
Won't Know What Hit Him were written by Lori Firth and Chris Mazalesta and featured Lori Firth on the former and Karen O'Brien and Rebecca Davis on the latter. Artwork by Richard McMurray. Editing, sound design, and audio production by Dale Leopold. We hope you enjoyed this episode, and if you think we're running a bit ahead of schedule, you're right, but you ain't seen nothing yet. We'll have our next episode ready on Election Day. So in the meantime, stay safe, vote blue, and thank you for listening.